So far, this has been created by the GeoGuessr people themselves. So far, 1,463 people have explored this challenge. Well, I'm going to be 1,464. So here we go. Episode 4 of GeoGuessr, it's Fingertip Phil back again. Uh, and today I thought I'd challenge myself with da -da 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 -da, the daily challenge. No idea what this is. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, the daily challenge. Do you have what it takes to become a GeoGuessr master navigator? Can pay yourself and play against thousands of other professional explorers. Now, by, by no stretch of the imagination do I class myself as a professional explorer. So uh, this could be, uh, yeah, this could be rather fun. So let's have a look. Uh, we've got some previous... Ooh, look at those points. Full marks for uh, Sebastian, Norden and Alberto. And Stasiu. Stasiu? Yeah, 25. So 25,000 is what I've got to aim for. Let's have a look. Oh, yikes. Do you know, automatically... I, well, rightly or wrongly... I thought this is Middle America. Big old American flag in the garden. Let's go up here, see what this little wee sign says. It's no better there, is it? Do you know what I'm thinking? I mean, it could be anywhere, but I'm thinking like maybe Georgia or Texas or somewhere like that. It could be completely wrong. We're out in the boondocks anyway, because there's like two houses in the space of, like, well, three now, like within the space of, I don't know, three miles. <laughs> There's nothing about. There is nothing around. So yeah, I'm thinking Georgia or Texas. Which one's it gonna be, Phil? Which one's it gonna be? Okay, I'm gonna go with. I need to focus in on this a little bit more because I'm <laughs> not even on the right continent. Look, I just put it on Thailand. There it is. Look, here we go. Here we go. Where am I thinking then? Let's go with Liberty, Texas. I'm just going to bang it there. Could be completely wrong. Oh, look, I was in Missouri. Well, well, I never. I was in Missouri. Mark Twain Na National Forest. Not very far away. Nice. I'm quite pleased with that one. Uh, so, next... Ooh, that's a view. That's a view and a half, that is. So what we've got to try and establish is this whether we're in, we're still in America. I think we are. Yeah, I think we are. So just looking at the vehicles and the type of house and the road signs. Yeah, we're still in America. Yeah. But again, it's... Where? <laughs> it's where? Uh, I'm going to go with... That's a big lake. I'm in the, wrong <laughs> in the wrong part of the world again. Come on, Phil. That was in India. Right, so I, I think this is going to be... Here, like one of these, Ontario, or I think it might be on Lake Erie. I've got a feeling it's Lake Erie. Is this Indiana? No, it's Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, so that's Erie. Right, so yeah, Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh wow, couldn't be more wrong. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where is it? Hang on, Google wants to take me there. Uh, it's it's Anchorage. Fritz Creek. In Alaska. Oops. Sorry, America. <laughs> I, s <laughs> I earned 167 points for that. Oh dear. <laughs> 
Okay, so next. Moving on very swiftly. Uh, ooh. This looks like hmm, a school. Woomera Heritage and Visitor Center. Picnic fun play area, shaded area, and electric barbecue. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Woomera Theater. I got a feeling this might be Australia. There's just something about. Yeah, there's just something about the the look of the place, the some of the words, bottle shop, definitely, definitely Australia. I've never been to Australia, but that's apparently what they call an off license is a bottle shop or a bottle o. Let's go to the bottle o, mate. But the trouble is, now we've got to find where Woomera is. And let's be fair, Australia is a bloody big country. Hmm. And I guess Woomera is just going to be a tiny, weeny little town somewhere. I'm thinking New South Wales. Wagga, wagga. I love it. Absolutely love it. See, see, zoom in some more. Look at all of these little... Oh, my God. There's so many. There's so many little towns. <laughs> I just don't... Uh, I don't know. Wartook? I've heard of that. Why have I heard of Wartook? Wolsey. It said the time limit was exceeded. That's not very nice. But I was kind of half right. It was South Australia. S.A. I currently have got 5,000 points in this round. Well, I apparently run out of time. So I'm not going to do very well here, am I? St. Jacob's School. Looking for signs again. <laughs> Netherlands. See, shop signs and road signs in this game are key. Obviously, it doesn't help if it kicks you out into the middle of nowhere, but I always look for, if anything with a website on it, and if it's .nl, I know that we're in somewhere in the Netherlands. And if you're familiar with uh, that kind of thing, then it's a little bit easier, easier to manage. Quite clever like that, you know. So, then we've got to stick a pin in again. Where it is. Utrecht, Rotterdam, The Hague. Gouda. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with Amos Fort, I think. Damn. <laughs> it's somewhere near Middleburg, look. So, that's not bad. 4,596 points. So only 400 and whatever points off the leader. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. You know what I was just saying about being dumped in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> what is this? So we're quite clearly on a farm. I've got no idea, though, whether it's... Bloody hell. Uh, now, which way to go? Because <laughs> they both disappear off into nowhere. Uh, I'm just going to go left. I went left, everybody. Because I'm left-handed, so I'm slightly more favouritism uh, towards the left than any other direction, I suppose. <laughs> There's nothing out here. There is literally nothing out here. I don't even... Holy crap. So I, this could be America again. Oh my god, the roads ran out. Or well, we could be back in Australia. Oh dear me! I <sighs> <laughs> there's not there's no landmarks. There's no landmarks. It's just 
road for days. Roads for days. Another farm. Oh, it could be the same farm. I could have gone around in a massive circle. <laughs> My God. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking America. I'm thinking, again, like, not even, I don't even think this is Texas. I think this might be something like Arizona or New Mexico, maybe. Going to go with Springerville. Ah, oh, not very far away, look. Not very far away. Next state over, or two states over, in Oklahoma. Near a place called Beaver. <laughs> well, not doing too well. No, see, I lost big time. Remember what I was saying? The, the 25,000 points. I got 10,251. So that's the daily challenge, folks. If you want to fancy the daily challenge, then, it, like I say, it could, it, it's taken me everywhere in the, in the, conceivably in the world. All right, a lot of it's centered in America, but... I had one over here in the Netherlands and one in Australia, one in Alaska. So, yeah, and they are just, as you saw, they dump you in the middle of nowhere. And it's very difficult to pinpoint, but good fun. Oh, there's one in Australia as well, so it's taking me all over the place. But, uh, yeah, if you want to have a go with that, geogesser.com. Uh, and then when you go on, arrive on the first page, there's going to be a daily challenge. And by all means, I'll link it below. Have a go at the daily challenge and see if you can beat my score, which, I mean, you could probably do that with your eyes shut. <laughs> see if you can beat my score and then see if you can actually get yourself on the leaderboard and see if you can top the leaderboard at geoguesser.com. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon for more GeoGuessr. Bye for now.